Thor was like, alright guys, let's head to the to the puzzle floor. Alright. So you guys head to the puzzle room, the puzzle area. And we'll figure out what happens in the puzzle room on the next episode. Hello, and welcome to the Journey Eternal Night. Now I'm your host, Gabe. I'll see your DM. <laughs> I'm Simbar. I'm Angus. And you guys are in the keep of eternal darkness. Alright. And what? Night. 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 Well, it's the keep of eternal darkness. Yeah, okay. I'm just kidding. It's the keep of eternal night. I'm so confused. Let's Where are do we? This. Let's just go inside. You're in the wrong oh, place. Oh, God. <laughs> Dang it! The princess is in the other castle. If that's the treasure at the end. Let's go oh, inside. What's 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 inside the puzzle room? So you guys, they have a few, the first couple puzzles beat, and you come to a sphinx. The sphinx wants you to solve his riddle. Man, what's black and red on the inside, and green and white on the outside? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, perception check. What is the. How, how tough does this sphinx look? <laughs> um. 12 plus 9 is 21. The sphinx sees what you're doing and he's like, if I die, the door. St- you still won't get the door open. They you make a good that. point, sphinx. <laughs> Yeah, whatever you can. <laughs> Repeat the question. What is black and red on the inside, and white and green on the outside? Well. It, it could definitely be something that bleeds, because red on the inside. Man's heart? Green on the outside? Hmm? Green on the outside? And orc's heart? Outside. No. It's a good guess. The true meaning of Christmas. No. That's stupid. You guys are annoying. Huh? Why, don't you, why don't you roll an intelligence roll? Wait, why am I rolling it? <laughs> I don't have... Wait, I do have a one. So 14 intelligence. For some reason you're thinking of seeds. If you're not clear on why. All right. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but just in case, I I don't want to know what happens if I run out of question or if I run out of answers with this thing. You get five. You get, you've used two. So I'm gonna roll for intelligence. That's an eight <laughs> plus a three, which is eleven. Uh huh. What were we thinking? I was thinking a melon. What kind of melon? The watery kind. Are you going to say it out loud? A watermelon! The sphinx goes, yes. Your answer is correct. And the door, the next door opens. What? And, and the sphinx disappears. Thank goodness. Alright. The answer to the riddle. Alright. <laughs> next challenge. You see a floor of tiles, and you're pretty sure you have to... St- Alright, you see a floor of tiles. Like, button tiles. Okay. Alright. Um, Do we still have our climbing gear so we can scale the walls and go around it? <laughs> How far is the end of the tile? Huh? How far is the end of the tiles? It's the whole room. Oh, okay. And the walls are slippery. <sighs> so I'm assuming that we have to unlock a code in these tiles in order to get the door open at the end. So, I'm gonna step on one. Now, which one? There, there are five in each row. I'm going to step on the middle one. You heard a tsk. Well, that's not right. Or is it? Maybe we have to step on all the wrong ones. No, maybe that's the mechanisms for the door. Well, if that's a mechanism, that's not a good sound to be coming from it. This place is old. 
All right, I'm okay. going to oh. step on the one to the right of that. <laughs> was that a good sound? Like, was that a satisfying clunk, or...? All right. Um, all right, the, the last one on the right to that. <laughs> so it's going to be on your side, Simbar. I'm going to step on there. Which one? The last one that he hasn't stepped on. He stepped on There's, four. No, he no, stepped, on. stepped on three. Okay, the far, far side. To Tunk. Keep going. You gotta step one forward or to the right. right. So I'm here, right? Yes. I'm gonna go to this one. You were you. It, it makes a weird just sound. No, no like real. Like grind. Yeah, kind of grind. Okay. Means you stepped. Mm-hmm. Roll, right, roll so. for intelligence to figure out what that sound means. Thirteen. Your knowledge of dungeoneering is making you think that. Which dungeoneer? I'm not dungeoneering. Oh. You said knowledge. All right, hold on. Engineering. Hold on. Dungeoneering. Calm down. Wait, there's Dungeoneering. 11 plus 8, 19. You're pretty sure it's a right tile, but you went in the wrong order and should start over. Okay. So we're just going to step off. So you should probably start over. Okay. Far. Mm -hmm. Then the next one, straight, right right in front of it. You step on to Tunk. No, to the right. To the right. Is it the same grinding sound? Mm-hmm. To tunk. No, same grinding sound. No, the one that it, said to it's tunk. back to normal. Okay. Forward. To tunk. Keep it going. I'm thinking. Okay, but keep it going. Forward. Back. Death Star over? Yes. <laughs> Here, I think it'd be easier. If I see it? If I make you a grid. Alright, make me a grid. Right, so. Are there symbols on here? No. Dang it! <sighs> that would be too easy. You saying my dungeon was easy? I'm saying that these tile puzzles are... So is it like this? Mm-hmm. Alright. So, here. Yes. Here. Yes. Here. Yes. Am I allowed to go diagonally? Well, you got past here. Don't go diagonally. Mm-hmm. No, let's go diagonally at all. You should not go diagonally. I'm checking my no, last time. I have the diagonal? knowledge of dungeoneering. No. Right. To right. Talk. You see, I could jump this one, but then the door won't open. Exactly. <laughs> Just do it. Go there. For it. Tunk. Forward. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Over. <laughs> oh, I mean, Tatunk. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Forward. Tatunk. The next door opens. Dang it. Right. Now we're gonna go through the next door three times. Ugh. You see a really dark room. And then the, hold on And to then that. in the room there are are six kind of torches. Not, not really torches, bonfires going. Okay. The and from left to right, the colors are purple, yellow, red, blue, purple, orange. Alright. And the room's completely dark except for those. I'm going to pull out my handy dandy wand. And I'm going to light it and look around a little bit. Wow. Perception check. 11 plus 9, 20. You know, when you're looking around, you notice there's a tile above on the top ceiling of each of the bonfires. Ooh. What are the tiles? Do they have anything on them? Well, which one are you looking at? 
Uh, let's do the first purple. You see the tile above it, it's blue. Blue. Mm-hmm. Alright, can we draw this out? The purple bonfire had a blue tile above it. There are six. Okay, now let's look above the rest and... What, what was the order again? Purple and... Above the yellow is a red tile. Okay, wait. Repeat Next the order of the, the bonfires. Purple, yellow, red, blue, purple, orange. Um, so above the yellow there was... You look and see red. Above the red? You see red. Above the blue? You see blue. Above the purple? The tile's missing. <sighs> it's a box. Above the orange. Purple. Okay, so... There's also a little container of each of the different color powders in the middle. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to grab the blue powder and put it on the first purple. Okay, it changes the blue. You hear it to tunk. Alright. Go ahead and match all these powder powders. Take I'm going the red, to... put it on the yellow. Okay. Take the purple, put it on orange. Now I just gotta figure out the one that's blank. Alright. Alright. Stay with me here. I'm staying with you. We're going to grab all of the powders. And we're going to throw them all in at the same time. Alright, let's do it. Alright, and go. There's an explosion. Sweet! You each take a d6 of damage. <laughs> And all the fires are now randomly different colors. Dang it! <laughs> Alright, I quickly put blue on purple. It's not. They're all, all the ones are different colors now. Yeah, I know. I'm... You have to see which ones are different colors. Wait, change the tiles? No. Well, that would be fine. Yeah, that's why I'm just like taking no. the powder and putting... But, okay, but, To match them again. But you have to change... Because the yellow one is now a different... Okay, just... Yeah, so I'm Fair changing it back. This one I'm putting the blue again. Okay. And so on and so forth. Alright. Okay, but just change it. Because so now it's yellow, purple, blue, red, blue, orange. Yellow, purple, blue, what? Red, blue, orange. Red, blue, orange. Orange stayed where it was in the Alright, so I throw yellow on there. Throw purple, throw some blue, blue, and then I put the purple on there again. Red, blue, you put purple on the orange. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do a perception check for a missing tile. Uh, 9 plus 9, 18. There's no missing tile, but there is a water fountain in the corner. Alright, I'm going to cup some water in my hands and put out the fire below the missing tile. The door opens. <sighs> Had I known there was a water fountain... I would have tried that. <laughs> I'd, I'd be... Did you guys roll the d6? I don't remember. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I was my myself. Yes. Alright. I'm going to walk through the doorway three times. Alright. And then you see it. The key. Perception. Perception. <laughs> Wait. Uh, 14 plus 9, 23. There's a key in this room. Got 17. There's a key in this room. What does the room look like? Yeah, like it's, it's really dark with dark tiles like all the other Do rooms. I smell anything with that 17? And when I shine 17? my flashlight. Nothing. Or my wand. Alright, forget it. I'm going to go up and take the key. And as you do that, from behind you, Grog comes in with two dead necromancers in each arm and throws them and is like, I can't believe you guys opened all the doors! Now give me the key. I can't believe you couldn't figure out those simple puzzles. 
Grog. You idiot. How you and his, in Grog's defense, his, his intelligence? intelligence is like a 9. Hey, in my defense, my intelligence is a 12. So? So it's not that high. He is minus. <laughs> and... <laughs> they weren't that hard. The watermelon, to be fair. <laughs> Alright, um... So... I'm just gonna try this. I'm gonna try and intimidate with the roar. I'm gonna make a stealth check after you. You do that. So that will be a... Where am I? Lost it. 21... 25 on Intimidate with the Roar. 25. He's not scared. He didn't even roll. He's not scared. He didn't even roll. Grog's not afraid of anything. He's too stupid. Mm. <laughs> and my stealth was a 13 plus darkness. I don't have fucking health. What? Shit. Did Hold you not give him a health? I did not. Let me do that real quick. Didn't give him health Fighters at or brains. Does yeah. not give him health or Doesn't that mean he's dead? No, it just means I forgot to add that. Okay, he's a fighter, so that means you need to stay as far away as you can and use your crossbow. Uh-huh. Do you have ammo? Uh-huh. Do you? Uh-huh. I can't tell if you're just nodding with me or uh -huh. not. Uh-huh. Roll for initiative! Eighteen. 16. 18. No? Oh. Hey! Rock, paper, scissors. Thanks, Rock. <laughs> so, it's Simbar, Angus with 16, 16. 18. Oh, 18, whatever. Because <laughs> it matters. Um, Portal Does. with a 10, and Rog with a 2. That's my point. Beautiful. So, Simbar's first. So apparently Roar doesn't do anything, so what I'm going to do... It's a boss fight, be fair. <laughs> so? He also has two keys around his neck. Not for long. Oh! <laughs> so you don't want him running away. I'm helping him. Long sword. Yeah, I'm just going to the long sword. With the natural 20. Oh! No! A natural 20 on this. Uh, let's see. Uh, redemption! It's redemption time. <laughs> it is. Here we go. Alright, so that is going to be 6, so 10 times 2, so 20 damage. Alright, that was a good hit. Nice longsword damage. Angus? Um, Angus, how much bonus did I get for hiding in the dark? Huh? Oh. Um, did you hide? Yeah, yeah I, he did. I roll. rolled for stealth and I got a 13. Okay. And you got his plus shadows. An 18. An 18. But is your flashlight still on? No, I turned it off. Okay. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Common sense there. Fallout's like, remember to turn your pit boy light off while sneaking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do a sneak attack with my. Oh, repeating crossbow. Oh, I'm so fast. Let me check that. Out. Yeah. Not bad. All right. So I rolled an 18 plus six. Um, 24. Okay. And room, damage. There's not enough room to charge. Or no, that crossbow? was. Yeah, I'm sniping. Okay. Sniping with the crossbow. Five. Plus right. Five plus three is eight plus 13. five thirteen plus one fourteen. And I'm going to immediately roll for sneak. I'm gonna take a minus twenty penalty for this. Um Did you say minus twenty? Negative five. Fifteen plus six is twenty one plus um, the... Oh, yeah, five. Five. Yeah, plus so six. Five. Oh, yeah, I got a six. <laughs> no. You're just you're checking. Like... Just checking. <laughs> Put your hands over your face. Oh, I 
would have been really happy if he just didn't see me. Alright. Borkle's gonna try to punch. With Ooh. his own natural 20. Alright. Oh man. Where's the D8? You guys are bringing the fun. Where do we do the D8? You just passed the Darius. We don't, we don't mess with Grog. When we see Grog, we hit him. Does we heard the tail. 16. And now Grog is going to attack. Come on, come on, come on, natural one. 18. Ooh. Let's see. He's going to use that. You want to do a D3 to find You crit it on him, so he's hitting you first. So did Borkle, but sure, good for it. <laughs> Thank goodness for not critting. Oh, yeah. Well, he's going to hit both of you. He's got two arms. Six plus four arms. eight. Fourteen damage. Fourteen damage. Uh, he grabs you and smacks you. Am I still allowed to attack with one hit point? <laughs> you hurt. I understand that. Am I allowed to attack with just one hit point? Yeah, but you're gonna lose it. <laughs> we'll see. And then he's gonna hit Porkle with his next attack. And that's a natural one. And he is going to miss and take a d4. Did he punch himself in the face? He did. <laughs> and that was two. Did a fly come by and he just missed and got him? Uh-huh. Cool. Alright, who's move? It is... Yours. Awesome. With your one hit point. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yeah, I got you. I'm using, using my sword. I wanted to roll, okay? I'm using my sword. Okay, so that is a 21. Wait. So 22, because I got the master sword. Mm -hmm. Where's my D8? Which is going to be 9 damage, and I suppose I'm passing out now. You gotta take a D4 of damage to yourself for overexerting. Cool, That's negative 3. Four. How much damage did you? Huh? How much was it? Nine? Yeah, I feel like it was yeah. nine. Nine damage. So Grog appears to be beaten with a sword to his gut. He oh, falls. Shit. But then Grog, using his ferocity, stands back up, warhammer in hand, and is ready. This ain't gonna be good. This is Angus' turn. This ain't gonna be good. All right, I'm I'm backpedaling now, and I'm going to backpedal. I'd say about ten feet and shoot off another bolt. Mm -hmm. That's a four. A good a good four plus six is ten. Do I hit? You're gonna miss. I'm gonna miss. And Borkle's gonna run the punch, and he's going to miss as well. Oh, this isn't good. And Grog is going to attack next. With a 19. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> Plus 14 against Borkle first. So that was a 2. Plus his 8 strength is 10. He just whips Borkle with his hammer. And then turns to you. It does a 15 plus 9. Hit. 24 hit. The D8. 4 plus 8 is 12. It does 12 damage to you. <laughs> um, I'm unconscious. <laughs> so now it's just Grog. <laughs> These Warhammers, I swear. We'll change Grog. perspective there. Grog. Grog. You mean Borkle. Borkle and Grog. Borkle! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got hit with a warhammer. Do we do uh, any rolls now? Does he take damage for being in his... Yeah. Um... For being in... Negative health. Ferocity. Oh, goodness. Exerting yourself? I'd say a d4. Yeah, I'd say a d4 for turn. Alright, so that was a 2. Do we do any rolls right now with us? So... Being unconscious? Um, when it's your turn, you're gonna make a saving throw. Okay. Okay. And it was Borkle's turn. 
Or oh wait, no, never mind. A, it's that's your table. He missed. Oh, All right, heal. heal? That's the D twenty, right? Yep. What does he have to get for that? Um, not that. Not 13. a four. Four plus your heal. Don't have one. No, I don't have a heal. Okay. So you're going to remain unconscious for now, Angus. Angus is gonna try and pull through. Do you have any health potions? Nope. We all drink them. Alright, heal check. Let's do this thing. Because you got three. Oh, Eight right. plus... Yeah, I drank them. Seven is fifteen. I made the check. Alright. I have three hit points right now. This is... Oh, man. This is a struggle. <laughs> this is worse than that hangover from earlier. Um, Oracle's going to launch an attack. With a 12 plus... He hits! Go, Borkle! Jumps up, does a big punch to the face, does 11 damage. And it is Grog's turn. Does Grog know that I'm conscious again? No. Okay. And he's gonna miss. Wait, that is a 6 plus 14. Never mind, he's gonna hit. Borkle! Grog's beast. And he's going to do a d8 plus 8 against Oracle. 3. 11 damage. And it is Simbar's turn. What is he going to do? Try and get back up. Not right now. You're unconscious. You already tried. Oh, right. Alright, so I'm going to roll for stealth. Mm -hmm. That's a 3. Plus? Plus 6... Plus whatever. Five, fourteen. You're hitting. Fourteen. He stopped right. paying attention to you. Okay. Are you gonna try to sneak out and get running distance? <laughs> uh, not with three health. <laughs> I'm going to roll for a sneak attack on my next shot. Okay. So. <sighs> Six plus. Um. 7 is 13, and he doesn't have a dex bonus. No, nope. I hit. What was it? 13. Yes. Hit. Sweet. Okay. Damage is a uh, d10. 3 plus... 3 is 6. Plus 1 d6. 2 plus 3 is 3. So, 9 damage altogether. Oh, oh gosh, dang it, Grog! How long do I try for? Or till I try again? Or and it is Borkle's turn. You're not gonna try the rest of this. Not got Borkle it. got an 18. He's gonna hit and do seven plus three is ten. And Grog knows you're here. <laughs> oh no! But isn't he kind of far away? He's going to hit Borgle with his Warhammer and knock Borgle out. And he's going to try to hit you. He's going to miss with his second attack. And oh yeah, he's going to take another d4. Alright. It's all or nothing. <laughs> you can do 10 damage. I'm going to take the potion Pass Without Trace. What does that do? I'm assuming it makes me invisible. Look it up real quick. I believe it's a thing for stealth. I don't think it does invisibility, but I think it's a thing for stealth. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not going to use what does that it do? potion. Gets rid of footprints. It gets rid of footprints. It's That's me. Basically useless. You gonna roll for stealth? I'm. I'm first going to roll for stealth. <laughs> uh, nine plus six is fifteen. Plus five is twenty. All right. And I'm hidden. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Ooh, he's gonna roll okay. perception though. A natural one on perception. 
He stares really hard and then blinds himself. <laughs> By staring really hard? And he cut off circulation. <laughs> okay. And falls down. Because he's at negative 36 right now. <laughs> and he's done. He's bleeding out. Alright. <laughs> Just to make sure, I'm going to make a stealthy coup de gras. And I'm just going to go up and with the last bolt in my clip, just shoot him in the head. Huh. How much damage? It's a coup de gras. Yes, but fine. it's a grog the mighty. Fine. fine. Um, one plus three is four plus... <laughs> Again, one plus one is two, so six. Literally the least damage I could do with a sneak attack. You pull up, shoot a crossbow in his head right through his eye, and you're pretty sure he's dead. Pretty sure? You're pretty sure. <laughs> I don't you, know about You just this. put a crossbow bullet in his head. You're, like, really sure he's but dead. But I've heard legends about this guy. <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> I'm going to take the keys around his neck, also loot him. Does I say you have two? Yes, yes. yes. How many are we at now? We're at five. Five keys! Woohoo! <sighs> We're getting there. Alright, I'm looting him. What has he got? Well, other than his Warhammer, he has giant metal arms. <laughs> Those are kind of cool. Take them. How would I get rid of what them? What else? Just the warhammer and the arms. The arms are attached at the shoulder like this. I was saying to get rid of them. They're ridiculously heavy. All right. They weigh like four, four hundred pounds each, and you don't even know how he can wield these in such a manner. Yeah, that's more than my heaviest load. So I'm going to make a heel check on. <laughs> God. Now this you can't give us crap on the names. <laughs> taking its toll on me. Alright, let's make this heel check on Simbar. And get him back up and running. That's a two. That is... That is almost a natural one. Um... Uh, <laughs> wait, hold on. We can pull through on this. Uh, I got a... Nine, and we're not in the plane, so I don't get any bonus to that. So, he's not okay. Why don't you try try Borkle and come back? I'm going to go try Borkle. <laughs> I got a five. Plus seven is twelve. How many negatives was he in on? Um, him? Yeah. Negative two. Oh, I made it! <laughs> Borkle, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. Roll. I think I think I'll, I think oh, half the bones of my body are broken. <laughs> Borkle's got two help. <laughs> Borkle, <laughs> we need we need to get Simbar out of here. We got the key. Roll a perception check. Dear God, what are you doing? Did you grab the warhammer? Not yet. Um. I got, on my perception check, I got a 21. What's happening? You realize Gronk's body's gone. And there's a trail of blood heading out. What is this? Call of Duty ghosts? <laughs> Did he also take Simbar? Like, what the hell? <laughs> Roll for perception. Oh god. Oh god. Four plus nine is thirteen. No, he didn't take so far. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Borkle, we gotta take Simbar. We gotta get out of here. This is this is just dumb. I hate this place. Let's go. Roger comes in and is like, hey guys, how's it going? Did you not catch him? Who? Roger! <laughs> Give me health. He tosses you a health potion. <laughs> a grand health potion that does heals. He, he throws you all three. <laughs> well, 
he's still unconscious. I can't. So he's gonna have to wait for that one. <laughs> so he, just, he throws one at you, one at you, one at you. It just hits uh, my head. You just take it, take, take. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, like it matters. <laughs> Alright, You You won because he got a natural one on his perception. <laughs> right. The lightheaded. <laughs> like, where is he? Oh my gosh, how am I standing? <laughs> oh god. Alright, I... I think that's the end of this episode. That is the end. I'm... <laughs> they have five keys. <laughs> I'm so done with this island. Roger, get me off. Please remember to share and subscribe. And do what you must in the comments below. <laughs> Goodbye.